level one. Today we have a 2018 Toyota Perius. Complaint with the car is uh, tail lights are not working, park lights are not working, corner lights are not working on the vehicle. And the owner of the vehicle informed me that actually the fuse that feeds door circuit keeps actually blowing. And they don't know why, that's why they called me in. I actually have diagnosed the car already. I have already found the problem. Just want to share with you guys actually um, how interesting it is. And if you use the right methods, you can get um, good results. So what I did from here was that um, I just went into the wiring diagrams and um, I actually oh, what I identified, I went to exterior lightning diagram and to the back and as you see in here there's a tail light relay okay tail relay and um pin number 87 which is the one just transfers the power to the circuit to the limbs to the rear and to the front through this fuse 10m fuse and um and this is the fuse that actually feeds the rear and the front for the parking lights and the tail lights. So what I did was um, I checked the fuse, fuse was blown, obviously. And um, I put a test light on right over here, actually. Not a test light, I'll show you. Um, on the left side headlight, basically, um, <clears throat> I unplugged this, um, I unplugged this uh, plug. And you, as you see, the red wire is the red wire that actually is supposed to transfer the 12 volts to the headlight so um but that wire actually has ground on it as you see this is the, just a um, headlight bulb i put two probes in the back and at, at the end of it one side of it i put it to the battery positive the other side i actually um unplug that um three wire connector the red wire that's supposed to carry um 12 volts that's where I slid it in the probe. Uh, since there's ground on that wire, this light is lit. Okay, nice and bright. So, um, meaning that you have a sh short on that ground when it's supposed to have 12 volts. That's why the um, fuse keeps on actually blowing. And I will show you the result for that. I actually um, will show you, I'll tell you what I did first. I started disconnecting all the lights, whatever that actually <clears throat> whatever that um the fuse feeds all those components i started disconnect them one by one i couldn't find anything i started playing with the wires that's when i found it okay i disconnected this headlight and this headlight to get in the results and when i was playing with the wires i found the result as you see guys right now the that uh, red wire the one that's supposed to have 12 volts still has ground on it okay as you see and um when I play with this wire, this is the corner light actually on the bottom. It goes right over here. Okay. And look at this. Look at the light. And when I'm playing with this actually, I'll show you. I don't know if you guys can see. Come on, come on. Okay, where did it go? Oh, here we go. You see guys, when I move this one, just on happen. the aftermarket wiring in here that's probably the cause of it we're gonna open it up and see what we find um, this car was hit on this side that's why probably all this happened and um, I'm gonna open up this tape see what is shorting our um, shorting our uh, voltage to the ground like one of these wires are ground and it's touching that one together somewhere in here so let me just open this up and i'll show you guys here you go guys i actually just um took off some of the tape and this was, this was a you know um some soldering done in here after the accident obviously I mean, at least i think um and look at this when i opened it up actually they were touching each other here and there See, look, when I touch these two together, as you guys can see, 
the short was right over here so this our this was our problem but what i really want to show to you guys was the importance of this using this kind of method can really save you a lot of times if you're getting wires disconnecting components that's connected to the um shortest circuit this can really really help you out finding out the problem thank you guys for watching have a great day